Five million smackaroos live out on dry tonight at 11. Did I really see what I just saw? This has got to be some kind of a nightmare. It has to be. Just please, just let me wake up. Let me wake up. I was. Oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just didn't see you there. You, 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 you're the, uh, you're the psychiatrist from the hospital, aren't you? Ah, uh, yes. I yes, can't believe I have just I... run into you. You know, really, run, run into you, please. I have just had the most horrible experience. Can I please talk to you for a minute? Well, look, why don't you call the no, hospital? No, 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 you don't understand. No, no, really, this, this is an emergency. Yes, but I'm just on I my way. I just saw to a Frank very Scanlon pull a stake out of his own heart. Yes, the kind of st that, that they used to kill vampires. Vampires. <laughs> I believe that Ian Thornhart drove a stake through Frank's heart. Ah. Well, my goodness. Oh, well, yes. Come on, let let's sit down here a minute. You you'll be all right. Just just sit down here a minute. Okay. I have absolutely no idea what happened to me back there. It was like I had no powers at all. Uh huh. What were you thinking, going after Joshua by yourself? What? You know what I was thinking. I thought I could handle Joshua because you had your hands full with Frank. Yeah, well, he could have killed you. I know. Isn't that the point? He could have killed me. He's not supposed to be able to do that. I'm the slayer. He is the vampire. I had a wooden stake. He knocked it out of my hand like it was absolutely nothing. Lucy? Oh, God, it's Frank, too. Frank. I lost to Frank. I lost to Joshua. And now on top of it, I feel like my whole body's falling apart. I'm losing my power, so I guess I'm just useless. Slow down. You're not falling apart. You're lovely. And you're fine. I don't believe that. Well, it's true. Could you maybe, um, kiss me? Maybe kiss me to make me believe that? All right. We'll just let them have their fun, won't we, Bruno? Because we know when they want to get completely free, they have to get by me. Yes, Gail. I can't wait another second, and I'll have you back. Back as I was. One bite, and we're both back as we were. You gotta wake up. Please. Come on, please, honey. Gail, why did you do this? You said that you would help us, but instead you used him to help yourselves. They would have done the same thing to me. No, you don't know that! Uh -huh. I know how he operates. He was never gonna allow Olivia and I to be together. He knows what that means. What about being a vampire? Come on, Caleb, please hurry! I want you so bad, I can taste it. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Listen. Are you okay? Uh, Talk to me, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, what's happening? Olivia, she's about to turn Caleb. You have to do something if you can, please. Don't worry. He won't be getting inside. <laughs> the key to the cell isn't there. I know. Come on, Caleb. Do you really think I was that stupid? that key. Oh, I hit it well, vampire. I'm sorry, I mean, ex-vampire. I knew I should never helped you get out of here. And I knew you'd double-cross me. I won't forget this. Oh, neither will I. 
But for now, you're not going to get anywhere near Livy. You can't keep us apart forever. He's going to be turned. It's only a matter of time. Well, it's not going to be a night, Livy. Yeah. And if I have anything to say about it, it's not going to be ever. Caleb, please do something. Don't let him get away with this. Listen to me. I'm going to get you out of there one way or another. I promise. How? I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Oh, please, be careful. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. Babe, aren't you going to go after him? Why? Well, so I can find the key. How can you be so sure? Because, uh, um... Oh, my it's God. Right here. I should have known. I should have known. No, you did, you one rape, but he's going to be back. He'll be back. Oh, I'm sure of that, but we'll be gone before that. Come on, I'm going to get no. you out of here before... No, no, please, don't leave me here. Please, don't. You can, please. Yeah, we can. No, Rafe, you, we got to eat. I just want to get you out of here. No. All right, well, I'll come back for Livy. No, no, he won't, Allison. He won't. Rafe. Allison, come on. No. Come on. No, no, please. Don't do this. Don't leave me here alone. Please. Master Caleb's roaming around out of his cage. And I see good help is hard to find these days. You're right. Obviously, your new best friend, the Slayer, did this. Since you are, how shall I put this? Powerless. How do you know? How do you know Olivia and I haven't gotten together already? How do you know, Joshua, that I'm not back to what I was? I consider that. But when I saw you walk in here alone without Olivia in tow, then I assume you're looking for a way to set her free. You are enjoying all this, aren't you? Immensely. You always did think you were better than me. You never should have been a vampire, much less a ruler. <laughs> oh, you can keep telling yourself that. But deep down, we both know the truth. What truth? Well, that even now I could still Crush you like a bug? Do you think so? Let's put it to the test. What are you talking about? Let's do this. You and me, once and for all. You, a mere mortal. You can't be serious. I'm dead serious. What do you say? To the deaf? Or... Well, maybe you don't got the guts. I've never walked away from a challenge. And for that, you'll be sorry. You'll be truly sorry. Lucy and I broke into Joshua's little hideaway. And Joshua being the bad vampire. The worst. And Lucy, who's a vampire slayer, was hiding in the closet when he came back in. Lucy's a vampire slayer in, in the closet? Yes, where she was ingeniously fashioning a stake out, out of a hanger. Oh, to kill Frank Scanlon. No, 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 no. Okay, now you're totally mixed up. No, Frank came rushing in with Ian, which is how Joshua knew that there was no way that I was really going to marry him, much less let him bite me, which I would. I mean, I would if he would only agree not to marry or, or bite Allison. Who is your daughter? Yes, and he's holding her captive. Allison buried. Yes, I mean, wouldn't you do that if your daughter was, was, was in, the, in the clutches of a, of a vampire? Oh, well, ab absolutely. And yes, a bad absolutely. vampire. I mean, a bad, not, not, not the kind of vampire that, that I was. Because you are one of the good ones. Well, I don't think that you can really say that, that being a vampire is, is a good thing. It, but, well, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I was probably one of, of the good ones, yes. Well, you know, this is, this is all very interesting, and I really would like to hear uh, more of this story, you know, perhaps uh, maybe even take some notes. But um, right now, I just have to uh, check in with the hospital. Just one minute here, okay? Thank you. Oh, uh, hi, it's Dr. Baldwin. Yes, um, I, I have a friend here with me, and, uh, well, I'd like to bring her in tonight. Right. Uh, yes, well, we're in the park. You know, it really might be best if you send somebody. Wait! To, to, what are you, what are you doing? Wait! God, I am 
pouring out my heart to you. What are you, what are you doing? You're calling someone to have me committed? <sighs> I think that is exactly what I needed. You feeling better? Yeah, much better. Mm, hey, I'm... I'm kind of sorry I freaked out on you there for a minute. I, I, I guess with everything that's going on, I was due for sort of a meltdown. If this is your way of blowing off steam, then uh, as a doctor, I have to tell you, you should do this more often. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll take the doctor's advice. Mm. We will. I'm going to regroup and find Allison. I know we will. Right, right. We do have that tiny problem of Joshua and Frank, though. It's not a problem. I'll get a crack at them as well. But I had a chance to get him. I could have nailed him. I was so close. Hey, stop blaming yourself. I do, because we both know something is wrong with me. It's just off your game, that's all. I think it's more than that. No, no, it's <sighs> whatever it is. Well, uh, we'll figure it out. Well, you know, at least I haven't lost my most important slayer power of all. What's that? You know, at least making love with you helps curb your appetite, huh? Not so hungry. Yeah. Ian? It, 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 it does, right? I mean, it, it, it does help, right? Lucy, I'm... What are you... What are you saying? Are you saying that now I can't even help you anymore? Allison, Rafe, you gotta let me out. I gotta get out. I gotta get to him. I, I have to get to Caleb. I have to help him, please. I know how you wanna help him. No, I don't mean that. Joshua's gonna go after him and kill him once he finds out he escaped. He's gonna come after all of us. That's why we're gonna get out of here. No, I have the ring. I have the ring. I can help you. I can help you fight him. I can help. That's, that's great. Thanks. But I don't wanna take the chance of you turning Caleb back. No, this isn't about me turning him back. It's about me saving his life. Allison, please. Please, you know what I'm talking about. You understand this. You would do anything to protect Rafe, wouldn't you? Yes, but... Well, that's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep the man I love safe. I'm trying to keep him from being killed. I know that you're really scared. Don't, don't, don't listen to her. Don't afraid. listen to her. She's just trying to manipulate That is not true. You know how much I love him. You know what? If there was a chance that, that letting you out of here, that you and Joshua and Caleb would, would all do each other in, then I would do that. But that's not what's going to happen. Why, you think I'm going to take his side? I don't know what's going to happen if Caleb gets turned into a vampire again, but I know this. I can't fight a war on two fronts. So, I'll see you around, no. baby. No, no. Brave, you're wrong! All I want to do is save him. I love him. Please, please. You're going to help him. Please. Don't do this to me. Please, don't turn your back on me. You can't. You, you can't. You know. This is the only man who has ever loved me. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. He is all I have. Please, don't okay. do this to me. Okay, please. Please, you gotta help him. You do. Allison. You do. Please. You need to Come help. on. No, wait. You have to. This is Caleb Morley you're talking about. Remember? Your worst nightmare. I know. Caleb Morley was my worst nightmare until now. Please, you have to help him. That was pathetic. I'm just getting started. I'd have finished someone off in half the time. What is your problem? I'm enjoying the moment. Come on. Let's see what you got. You want to fight to the death? I'll give you a fight to the death. What? What was that you said about death? Come on. It's the best you got. You think this is over? It was over the minute you tried to take my place. I said take your place. Because I know what I want and I know how to get it. Not like you. It made me sick to see how easily you walked into my trap. You mean the... The trap to kill me? The one that failed so miserably? Because as you can see, I'm still standing here. Just. <laughs> and I gotta hand it to you, old man. This never-say-die attitude, even in the face of defeat? I'm not defeated. I will never be defeated, especially not by you. Well, obviously, you can't defeat me. You, with all your power, and me standing here with nothing? We'll see about that. <laughs> Look at you! You! Oh, an embarrassment. You think I'm stupid. I know what you're up to. You try to provoke me, so I'll bite you. That will never happen. Oh, you're having enough trouble with me now. Imagine if I was a vampire. You'll never be a vampire. 
He'll never be mortal. I'll always be dead. I am not crazy. No. No, Mrs. Barrington, I'm not suggesting that you are. I, I was just... Well, I, I thought you might like to take some time off. So you could just relax. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. Did, did you actually believe the story that I was telling you with vampires and slayers and, and stakes? That... I am a much better storyteller than I ever thought. So you were just making it up? Well, the minute that I saw you, I knew that you would be the right person to, to run this by, this, uh, this movie that I'm writing. So, you're a writer? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I'm probably more of a producer type, if you really ask me. Writer slash producer. But when I create my characters, I actually prefer to use the names of people that I actually know. Ian, Frank, Lucy, it, it just helps me create them. Well, look, I have an awfully busy schedule, but I... Let me see. Um, I'm glad to give you my card, just in case you want to talk again, but really, I... I think you should take some time off. Just relax. Well... <laughs> I actually, I'm working round the clock on this project, but, uh, but thank you. Well, uh, can, can I call you a, a, a cab? Oh, huh? um, oh no, thank you. I'm just going to, to walk some more. The fresh air gets my, my creative juices flowing. All right. Fine. Well, um, you take good care. I will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. It is the last time that I open up to some crazy shrink. Oh, wait, but... It's true, isn't it? We just made love and... You're not sad at all, you're still hungry. No, I'm... Uh, of course I love making out, you know. I'm... But it didn't... I mean, it kind of makes sense. All the sensations I've been feeling, feeling so confused and dizzy. I am losing my power. It wasn't just a fluke that I couldn't fight Joshua and Frank. Lucy, No. I'm... This confirms it. If I can't help you, then I am losing my powers. Stop! You're jumping to conclusions. All I see. I'm not jumping to conclusions. I think I've been afraid of this for a while, and I just didn't want to believe it. Well, then don't believe it. I'm I can't sorry. help it. I'm, I'm really scared. Because if I'm losing my powers, what does that hey, mean to you? Don't, don't do that. Don't. I, I, look at me. I'm fine. Huh? You're fine. We're all fine. Everything is good. I can still feel that you're not, you're still... I'm what, hungry. A little hungry, a little tense, you know, but that, look, what we went through, we take a few more times of what we just did to get me back down. Really, you're not, you're not just saying that to make me feel better? No. You give me everything I need, always have. Okay, I just, I don't know what I would do if I couldn't help you anymore. You're helping me just by loving me. And I love you. <laughs> oh, God! No! Too no. late, Slayer, no. you're late! Wait. Stop it. Joshua! No! I'll we, deal with him later. We can't leave him here. He's gonna bleed to death. Olivia! Oh, God, Rafe. Oh, God. Right now, I'm just worried about you. No, Come no! On. We have to help him somehow. Allison! Le Rafe! He is mortal now. Don't you understand that? We are the ones who are responsible for making him human. We can't leave him here. He's gonna bleed to death. We can't leave him or Olivia. <laughs> Yes. They got away and they left you behind. You didn't think about that, did you? Caleb, the love of your life, saved his own skin and didn't think about yours. So now it's just you and me. 
all alone. They'll come back for me. You'll see, Caleb will come back. Perhaps. But at that point, you'll already have starved to death. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Desire. Poor Charles. You could do a whole lot better than Frank Scanlon. You want to repeat that, Kevin? You gotta help me, Rafe, please. Olivia! Please, for me, please. Go on, you're free to go. After you give me the ring. Is it Bianca's turn for love? Watch the kiss that will have everyone talking. Daytime history happens today on All My Children. Tonight, six girls fight for Andrew's heart, and things get vicious. I need to be away from her. She's irritating me. The Bachelor. Then, we'll take two ordinary women and transform them into extraordinary beauties. I'm about to see my bride, minus 10 years. An all-new Extreme Makeover. After The Bachelor, tonight, starting at 9, 8 central on ABC. Thursday.